Hello and welcome to another Mario Party 6 minigame review. Up today is the second last rare minigame in Mario Party 6, Lab Rats. In this one, you're in a maze. You're trying to save your friends and get out as fast as possible. But as soon as you get out, you're in another maze. So save another friend and keep on going until you get your high score. Yeah, basically this is a little extra that just kind of allows you to keep going back to see if you can do better and better. Like Sarah says, you have five different mazes to go through before time is up, and each one gets progressively bigger and harder. So by the end of it, you're really running around to find your friend and get to the end. I had a lot of fun with this one. Because each maze is different and it gets harder, it was a good challenge every time. And you have to find your friend and then find the exit. So you're not just looking for one thing, so you might have to double back and keep going a different direction to find it. Yeah, this was really cool. I could honestly see this working as a regular minigame if everyone had their own screen, and it was just a matter of trying to find your friend and get to the end first. But having it as an extra minigame here allows it to be a little more deep than it could have been, and it is cool trying to beat your fastest time every time you play it. Ooh, yeah, this would have been a great 2v2 where you're trying to meet your partner and get out together. I think that would have been really fun, like you said. One thing I did like about this one was that there is an overhead maze view. So if you're completely lost and can't figure out where you are, don't worry, you can see on the map. But you don't get to watch the map while you're moving, so it's still a challenge. Yeah, that was a good little feature. So overall, Lab Rats is a really cool rare minigame. The fact that there's five progressively harder mazes means you can keep coming back to this and trying to beat your fastest time. And it's one of those minigames that really works your brain when you try and figure out not only how to get through the maze, but the fastest way to get through it. You don't want to make too many wrong turns or you're not going to have a faster time. Sure, there's no crazy twist on this one, but I don't know if it really needs it. It's still a really fun extra minigame. We're giving it four stars out of five. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this review, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. If you've joined us for any of Mario Party 6, thank you. And please subscribe so you can keep watching us and maybe even watch Mario Party 7. Well, up next, we have the absolute last minigame in Mario Party 6. It's Seer Terror. Surely Mario Party 6 is going to go out on a high note and this is going to be a great minigame, right? Well, it ends in terror, so I don't think that's a good sign. If you want to see what this minigame is like, come back for our next video. Hope, Hope to, to see, see you then. then.